Then I am finished uh, sanding the bow truster hole and um, the sanding was done with a um, rotating um, disc uh, on a, um, yeah, as you can see, my Tevalt screwing or grilling machine and uh, then I have uh, hand sanded the rest um, yeah just by sanding the whole thing here with uh, the grid 40 I have of course also sanded the, the, the stern drive there or the ball trusted drive um, and yeah it is just sanded down um, I think the best thing here is to um, paint some um, gel coat onto the area here so I uh, get the fiberglass covered in, in gel coat because uh, it is not good that you have a gel coat like this under the water so um, yeah I think I will um, paint it over with the gel coat first before I prime uh, or put on a epoxy primer when you look at the walls on the pipe here you can see there is uh, scratches I think it is when it is sucking in um, yeah things <laughs> and um, then it is uh, scratching the pipe here but um, yeah it is of course the first boat I have with a boat thruster drive so um, it is also pretty new to me to see all these uh, scratches um, I can of course see next year when I get the boat on land again or to the fall uh, if there is any uh, scratches and if it is a normal thing but um, yeah pretty deep the best way to sand here is uh, by hand and uh, I will also uh, sand down the engine leg here by hand yeah it took me around uh, one hour to sand down the engine leg and uh, around uh, the rudder here around the bearing there and the top of the rudder and yeah small places and um, the engine leg I have uh, first sanded with the grid 60 to uh, remove uh, the bottom paint and then uh, I have uh, sanded it with uh, some uh, grid 120 and uh, yeah I have uh, also cleaned the holes here and also the the hole here in the bottom it is uh, where there is uh, yeah running water out and water in and and so when you take the boat on land um, there will stand some water in the engine leg and um, the rest will of course uh, run run out of the little 10 millimeter hole there it is a bit important that this hole is uh, free of um, barnacles and so so the water can run out of the leg I'll then sand down the keel with some uh, sandpaper or what do you call it grit uh, 24 and uh, yeah let us see if it, if it will the rust here will go away or not yeah I can't grind it down or sand it down so I need some heavier equipment hmm. yeah the metal is uh, covered in uh, uh, polyester I think and then epoxy primer and then uh, anti-fouling but um, yeah pretty tough surface mm. 
I have uh, sanded down the keel on the one side with um, a disc like this. Uh, it is called a flap disc and this one here is um, made for steel. Um, yeah, I put it on the angle grinder and uh, then grind away all the um, rust and so. But um, yeah, first I sand away the bottom paint with the, the normal sander and some uh, grit 40. And um, yeah, it is to remove all the blue um, anti fouling because, uh, yeah, as I have told, <laughs> it is uh, a bit toxic. toxic. Um, so, um, yeah, it must be sanded away with uh, this sander. As you can see, the other side here is uh, sanded down here yesterday, but uh, it will, of course, uh, rust very fast again. So, my plan is to, um, yeah, of course, sand the, the other side of the keel and then um, just quick sand <laughs> the whole keel on both sides and then apply some uh, rust converter. It will then uh, convert the rust to uh, something, yeah, it will stop the rust and um, then I can apply a primer afterwards. But uh, right now I will uh, sand away the anti-fouling here. Yeah. The keel is now uh, sanded or grinded, totally finished, and yeah, I have uh, grinded it very, yeah, good here in the front because uh, it was very, very rusty. Um, yeah, um, I have also cleaned here in the edge, so um, it is clean and uh, ready for the next step. The plan right now is to um, wash the keel with some um, Hempel uh, Pre Clean. It is um, a kind of uh, degreaser uh, you mix with water and then uh, wash the surface. Uh, I will then uh, wash, wash the keel and then uh, pressure wash it with um, a pressure washer. Then the keel is washed with pre-clean. <laughs> the reason for the pre-clean is uh, to remove any grease of any kind of the keel here. Um, I can see there has uh, been a lot of um, very heavy rust here in the front and um, yeah it is important that all the heavy rust is removed and also uh, important that all the grease and so is removed. Um, but yeah I have uh, filled on or washed the keel with the uh, pre-clean and uh, then I will uh, pressure wash um, it's a way. So easy. 
have some spots here that is not so good and uh, yeah I will grind it away the keel is now grinded down as you can see I'm sweating like a pig <laughs> so um, next step is to um, apply some uh, rust converter the hard part about uh, grinding down the keel here was all the graveyard uh, rust it is uh, rust that is uh, lying in a layer over the mo uh, normal uh, metal and um, if I don't remove the graveyard rust it will then rust under the surface and um, yeah it will then uh, fall off after some some time and um, the rust will easily begin again so um, yeah very very hard job but um, yeah I went through and you can see the anchor grinder grinder here with the flap disc here is uh, totally almost used total to the bottom so a um, very hard job I will then uh, apply some of this uh, rust converter or rust eater it uh, must be shaked before use and uh, it will then uh, kill the rest of the rust in the small um, cracks and so the product is uh, water based so um, yeah there's a little uh, simple there warning but uh, yeah it smells not do not smell so good it will then it will then turn into black when it is drying and then stop the rust it must then dry for 30 minutes before I apply the second coat um, yeah it will then convert the surface from yeah rust to uh, something um, yeah they, they call it organic uh, surface but is it is uh, just to um, prevent any further rust from the keel uh, afterwards I will apply some uh, primer that is uh, thinned uh, so it is very thin and it will uh, suck in to the small uh, parts of the keel because uh, it is it is very rough in the surface as you can see so um, yeah the thinner or the primer the thin primer will then suck in to the surface it is a bit funny that uh, it is most rusted here in the front and uh, not so much at the, the back side or oh, I saw some uh, a lot of rust in this area here on uh, both both sides so um, yeah it is a bit funny way uh, the keel is built and uh, also uh, a funny way they have uh, painted the keel uh, because um, from the yard they have uh, put on some um, uh, what do you call it? polyester uh, on to the surface here but only in the center so it is a bit uh, funny why did they not cover the whole keel in the polyester instead of just here in the middle the first time I saw this uh, rust converter stuff was on a YouTube channel uh, called SV Seeker uh, it is a big uh, rusty or metal big metal ship and it is of course rusty and uh, they uh, 
took uh, something like this, uh, the rust eater or rust converter, and uh, put it on the totally rusty metal, and then they could paint over that. So I know uh, the product here is working. Um, as you saw, uh, it is white when you apply it, and then it is uh, turning into black, as you can see uh, right now. It is when it is converting the rust from rust to uh, this organic uh, thing, and uh, you can then use the product as um, a primer for your other paint. But um, yeah, as you know, I will use a lot of uh, primer on my boat. I have used the whole bucket of rust converter and um, yeah, before use you must uh, remember to shake it well because when you shake the rust converter it will turn into form, foam and then uh, it will uh, get into the surface of the, the metal. I have now applied the second coat of uh, rust converter of rust eater <laughs> and uh, as you can see the keel is uh, beginning to turn totally black it is uh, because the rust eater is uh, converting the rust so it doesn't rust anymore <laughs> and um, tomorrow I will um, apply some uh, primer the first coat but um, yeah I think you must uh, wait for the next time uh, to see that and uh, this time I have uh, used around uh, 50 uh, US dollars um, on all the stuff, flap disks and uh, yeah, rust converter and um, yeah, some other, other stuff. But uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this time and uh, I will see you next time where I will uh, begin to prime the bottom <laughs> yeah bye